meant by master data management? In order to answer that question, we must first consider what is meant by master data. Master data objects are those core business objects that are used in the different applications across the enterprise, along with their associated metadata, attributes, definition, roles, connections, and taxonomies. Master data objects are those things that we care about, the things that are logged in our transaction systems, measured and reported on in our reporting systems, and analyzed in our analytical systems. Common examples include customers, employees, vendors, suppliers, parts, and products, among many others. To better illustrate some ideas about the use of master data concepts, let's take a look at a simple transaction example and think about what we can learn by considering the master data concepts inherent in the business process. Here's a simple example describing the purchase of an airline ticket. David Lotion purchased seat 15B on National Airways Flight 238 from Baltimore BWI to San Francisco SFO on July 20th, 2006. Our first observation is made based on looking for any proper nouns in the statement. There are two, David Lotion and National Airways. These are reference names associated with parties. In turn, we have to think about the role that each party plays within the business context. Here, David Lotion is the party driving the transaction and is acting in the role of customer. National Airways is the party that holds the seat inventory is, and is doing the selling. In this case, National Airways is acting in the role of vendor. Another common concept is time, and this description is no exception. There is a time aspect to this transaction. Presumably, it is the date associated with the ticket. That date, July 20th, 2006. It is infrequent that the concept of location is not associated with a transaction, and this example is no exception. In fact, there are four references to locations here. Baltimore, San Francisco, BWI, and SFO. One might be curious about the apparent repetition of locations in this transaction. In fact, there are some other curiosities associated with these places, and we'll revisit that in a bit. Further review of this transaction points out the subject of the activity, the actual item that is being purchased. Interestingly, while the description of the product being purchased makes sense to those of us already familiar with the ticket purchase process, the actual items referenced as being sold almost don't make sense. In fact, those even more familiar with the industry might object to the way that the transaction is described here. The customer is not actually buying a seat, but is essentially purchasing a ticket that is in turn assigned to a specific location. Also, the flight has its own set of characteristics that need further dissection and analysis. The ticket's location is mapped to a specific allocated seat on the equipment used by the instantiation of that flight on the specific date. Note that a little analysis starts to point out the difference between the different master objects as well as highlight data attributes that must be associated with those master data concepts. The ticket itself has attributes that must be captured in the master representation. Fair class, refundability, standby criteria, fair stability, and other conditions. The flight has some relatively static attributes as well. Departure gate, arrival gate, plus some performance measures that are worthy of being master attributes also, such as on-time departures and on-time arrivals. I mentioned earlier about some curiosities about the names of the locations used in the transaction, and the fact that the locations are seemingly duplicated in the description. The intention is that the pairs of location references refer to the same place, but this is a semantic trick. In fact, SFO refers to an airport serving the San Francisco area, but it's not located in San Francisco. San Francisco is a city served by SFO, but one still needs to drive a bit from SFO to be in San Francisco. Based on this high-level inspection, let's review the data concepts that might be candidates as potential master data objects. We have customer and supplier, both of which are types of parties. The customer purchases a product from the supplier, which is related to a ticket for a flight on a specific piece of equipment. The product is associated with a set of locations and is good for travel at a specific time. What are the next steps? Well, considering that we have only looked at one operational use of the data, it will be worth examining other ways that the data concepts are used by other business processes. For example, downstream analysts might look at ticket sales to review best allocation of equipment to flights. Other analysts might review customer activity to look for improving brand loyalty. 
All these reviews are a part of a more comprehensive data requirements analysis to truly shake out which data elements and associated attributes are commonly used with the same or similar semantics and where business processes might benefit from master object consolidation.